Are you looking for a paint color that's warm like an off-white, but it doesn't read too creamy, it's not too yellow, and at the same time, it's not cold or stark like Benjamin Moore Chantelay Lace, then perhaps Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake could be the right paint color for your home. Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake is not a popular online paint color. There's just not a lot of information about it online, but don't let that fool you. I use this paint color all the time, and it's absolutely stunning when paired correctly. So what I'm gonna do is show you the undertones of Vanilla Milkshake by comparing it with some contrasting paint colors so that you can see the undertones yourself. And then I'm gonna compare it with some other light neutrals so that you can see what makes this paint color so unique and then towards the end of this video I'm going to share with you some valuable tips that you need to know about Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake. Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake is a complex paint color and it's got some really unique undertones that you need to know about so watch what happens when I compare it with Benjamin Moore Ivory White, which is considered a cream. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Ivory White with Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake, this is where you're gonna notice the slight green undertone in Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake. Now watch what happens when I compare it with Benjamin Moore Silver Satin, which is considered a light blue gray. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Silver Satin with Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake, this is where you're going to see the warmth in Vanilla Milkshake. You're going to see a little bit of the yellow undertones. And if you look carefully, there's just a hint of a gray in Vanilla Milkshake. So what you need to know about Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake is that it's a complex paint color and it's kind of hard to define what it really is. But it can be a grayish, which in this case means there's a little bit of a yellow, there's a little bit of a green, and there's just a touch of a gray. But sometimes it can also read as a light warm off white. It just depends on what you compare it with. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to help you understand this paint color just a little bit better by comparing it with some interesting complex warm off whites and light grayish paint colors to help give you an idea where this sits in the world of light paint colors. Watch what happens when I compare Benjamin Moore Steam, which is considered a warm off white. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Steam with Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake, you're gonna notice two things. Number one, you're gonna notice how Steam is a lot lighter than Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake. And you're also gonna notice how Vanilla Milkshake it's warmer than steam, but you're also gonna notice how Vanilla Milkshake, it just has that just hint of a little bit of a gray to it and just a little bit of a hint of a green undertone. So it's warmer than Benjamin Moore Steam. Now watch what happens when I compare it with another complex light grayish paint color called Benjamin Moore Dune White. Watch this. When you compare Dune White with Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake, you're gonna notice how Benjamin Moore Dune White is warmer than Vanilla Milkshake. And you're gonna notice how Vanilla Milkshake is cooler than Dune White. So Vanilla Milkshake has got a touch of warmth, but also has just a touch of gray. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Swiss Coffee, which is considered a light grayish. Watch this. When you compare Swiss coffee, this is where it gets interesting. Vanilla milkshake is cooler than Swiss coffee. And you're gonna notice how Swiss coffee is creamier. You see more of that yellow in comparison to vanilla milkshake. Vanilla milkshake is basically the lighter version of Swiss coffee. It's just not as yellow. This is probably the best example to explain to you what vanilla milkshake is. It's basically a light grayish like Swiss coffee. The only difference is this, is that it's the lighter version of Swiss coffee and it has just a hint of a green undertone. So what you need to know about Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake is that it's a warm grayish and sometimes it can read as a warm off white. Typically, you're gonna see more of the warmth, but sometimes you, you might see a little bit of the green. You might see a little bit of the gray. It just depends on what you compare it to. Next, I'm gonna share with you two valuable tips that you need to know about 
about vanilla milkshake. Tip number one, Benjamin Moore vanilla milkshake can be used in both a south facing rooms and north facing rooms. If you have a south facing room, expect it to look like the lighter version of Benjamin Moore Swiss coffee. In other words, it's not gonna be overly yellow like Swiss coffee. And you're gonna see just a touch of gray and that's what's muting the yellow. In a north facing room, this is where you're gonna notice a touch of a green and you're gonna see just a touch more of a little bit of gray and vanilla milkshake. But when you pair it correctly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you don't pair it correctly, then don't be surprised if it looks dingy in a north facing room or really just any space that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting. For those of you that wanna save time and you wanna get it right the first time, I highly recommend you go to my website, check out my online packages. I can help you with either interior or exterior paint colors. And please read the reviews. I have over 500 reviews. See what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Tip number two, Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake pairs really well with kitchen countertops that are black, off-white, grays, and even creams. You can use Benjamin Moore Vanilla Milkshake as a kitchen cabinet paint color, a trim paint color, or even interior wall paint color. I've used all of these applications many times over the years. If you found this video helpful, please put a like, let me know. I would love to hear from you. And I highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel if you want to get in-depth reviews about paint colors that you can't find anywhere else online. I would love to have you here. I update three new videos every week. Until then, I will see you in the next video.